Uh, as you know, television retailing is big business in the US, with current estimates putting annual sales in the vicinity of $9 billion. Uh, TV retailing in the States is all about promoting big brands such as Dell, Apple, Birkenstock, Toshiba, uh, which is a far cry from the set of steak knives deals we all remember growing up. We're extremely grateful to have two high caliber speakers joining us uh, this morning, all the way from QVC headquarters in West Chester, Westchester, Pennsylvania. Uh, the two gentlemen joining us have combined experience of over 40 years working in television retailing. Um, we're very lucky to have Mr. Doug Rose, who is Senior Vice President of Programming and Marketing at QVC, uh, and also Mr. Scott Ellis, who is an ex-buyer from QVC and is now President of Sales Channels. Without further ado, I would like to introduce our first speaker, Mr. Doug Rose. Uh, Doug Rose was named Senior Vice President of Programming and Marketing in March 2010. In this position, Rose oversees the US teams responsible for programming, public relations, marketing, creative resources and brand development. Since joining QVC in 1994, Rose has held various key marketing roles, including Director of Consumer Marketing, where he managed US consumer advertising, direct marketing and sponsorship programs, and then as Vice President of Merchandising Brand Development, in which he oversaw the US Vendor Relations Department. He most recently served as Vice President of Programming and Marketing, and prior to joining QVC, Rose worked with Ketchum Advertising, Young and Rubicam, and Hal Riney and Partners. His advertising agency experience includes media planning and account management for such names as Clorox, Nestle and Campbell Soup. Rose earned his bachelor's degree in history from Colgate University. Uh, for hosting this event. But anyway, so uh, as Ian said, yes, we are a, um, a, a major retailer today, QBC is, and the industry within uh, the United States and increasingly on a global level is um, reaching a scale that a lot of people don't necessarily uh, expect or appreciate. Um, so I'm going to spend the next 20 minutes or so um, answering some of the most frequently asked questions that we get about uh, the televised shopping business and how it's evolved over the last several years. And then once I'm done with that, Scott Ellis will be stepping in to answer some of the more pragmatic, practical questions that uh, many businesses uh, may have with regard to how we do business. So with that, let me, uh, let me go ahead and, and uh, kick it off by giving a sense of the scale of the business. Um, QBC has been uh, in business for 25 years now. Um, we are, in fact, we're not the first in this category in the United States, um, but we have um, uh, certainly become the largest. We're about uh, two and a half times the size of our next largest competitor in the U.S. And on a global level, we are um, uh, the clear leader um, at with uh, annual sales last year of $8.3 billion. 